Hey done, folks. Welcome back to the Dash of Elan. A little painter's update. Been a while since I did one of those, particularly for Flames of War, which is what you see in front of you right now. Battlefront 15 millimeter goodness. Got the Italians and we got the Brits. This is from the Tobruk starter set. I'm painting this for a good friend of mine, Ian. You know who you are, my friend. Uh, they're coming along pretty well and they're almost complete. I'd probably say about 98% done on this project. The only thing not shown here is the two flak 88s, which are for the Italians. Uh, the paint's drying on them, so I can't show them off at the moment. But everything else is base painted. We've got some shading going on. Uh, we've got the tank crew painted on these guys. All good. Uh, the only thing missing is a little bit of weathering. Maybe some highlights here and there, like on the camo pattern here. I like to highlight my camo. As you can see, it's got that kind of greenish blue, but I like to highlight the insides of it, make it pop a little bit more. I might do that. Uh, but yeah, some weathering, uh, some final touches. Got to blacken up the barrel tips. Uh, yeah, that sort of thing. Oh, and the decals. We got decals to put on these bad boys. And let's see what we got here. I haven't jumped into them yet, but there's a look at them. This is for the Brits, 8th Army. Is it rats? All that good stuff. These Brits are going to get those. We also got some for the Italians as well. You can see them right there. So I'm going to be putting them on next as well. I just wanted to show these off for you guys. We got a bunch of Crusaders here. The Brits of that paint must be a little wet. Or it dried a little bit. Hard to turn the turret there for a moment. But yeah. Now I went pretty light on the camouflage. I didn't want to go too far with this. Generally, it should be about a third of the surface of the vehicle in general. But I think I did a little bit less. I was trying for that. I don't want to go overboard with the camo. And you can see the British, and then you can see the Italians here, which don't have a camel pattern. They are a little bit dirtier and grimier compared to the other tanks. That is intentional. So they're even more uh, easy to distinguish on the tabletop. Of course, here you go. Kind of close up there. We got some Shermans right here in the back. We got some Grants. Uh, at least in American service, they're called Grants. And of course, we got the Crusaders. We got the Crusader 2s, Crusader 3s mixed in here. For the Italians, I can't remember the names of these. These were fun, I must say. But we got a bunch of those, and we got a bunch of these. These are like little self-propelled guns. There's no turret on them. Kind of like a Stug-inspired tank. Uh, yeah. That's a look. There's quite a few of them. And they're looking pretty good. I'm quite satisfied with these. Now, with Ian's permission, we've talked about this, I am actually going to be running some battles with this starter set. Again, including the Flag 88s, which I don't have with me in here. But I am going to be running some battles here, so you guys are going to see it here on the channel. I'm going to be doing some bat reps featuring the models from this set. And I'll be holding on to these for quite a while yet to the end of the year because I have more projects to do for Ian and that includes a lot more Germans uh, again for North Africa and some Italian infantry uh, probably British infantry as well we will see but I'm going to be expanding this collection with other starter sets and yeah I'm going to be holding on to this so I can ship it off to him in one go because he is over there in the UK uh, I am buying these for him so it saves him on shipping <clears throat> and yeah, that's how we're doing it. But I am planning a battle report. You guys can look forward to that. A couple battle reports, I'm sure. 
We just got to be careful we don't break any machine guns off the models, you know, that kind of thing. I'm going to be hard at work making repairs. I don't look forward to that. So there is, I am planning to do that. You guys can look forward to that. We're going to feature some desert terrain. If I do make up some extra terrain for it, I will be shipping them off to Ian as well for free of charge, of course. Uh, this is a commission that I'm doing for him. And he was kind enough to leave me the starter rolls from the Tobruk starter set. And more importantly, the mini rule book. So once again, I'm back in the Flames of War. Just, you know, I'm not going crazy here. But I do have the full rule book, 4th edition, once again. A lot of you guys know I was a huge fan of Flames of War, 3rd uh, edition. Played some 4th edition as well, and eventually sold all my collections. So 15 mil isn't my thing anymore. But man, does this bring back good memories. Good stuff. You just check out the channel, you'll see a lot of World War II battle reports I did with Flames of War uh old group oh and so many other sets of rules i can't even remember them all battle group yeah so i'm excited about this i'm gonna really dig into this and i'm excited to roll some dice the starter set by the way does come with some custom dice i don't have them for right here in front of me got some custom dice as well that uh ian's gonna be getting with this whole set i'm gonna be featuring them in the battle report as well so yeah Good things, folks. Good things, folks. And this is keeping me busy. Of course, I got my own stuff that I'm working on. You'll be seeing me do that more and more over the coming weeks as I start up our paint-alongs or painting chats, probably on the weekends, you know, once a week or something. I'll be streaming live, painting up some of my own stuff and see who wants to join me. Uh, you guys can see me work on my Napoleonics Leipzig project in 28 mil. Uh, got a ton of stuff to show off of rules and miniatures. I'll probably make separate videos for that if you guys care to see that. It's a big project I've been planning for over a year now, and I hope to get deeper into it in the coming weeks and months. Uh, possibly some World War II and 28 mil I might get into. We'll see this year. And of course, my 40K, my whole slew of Sisters of Battle to go alongside my Dark Angels. I just got them, and I'm excited to share them with you. But yeah, just wanted to show these off, folks. It's good stuff. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. And stay tuned. I got more coming your way. Uh, my battle vlog episodes are going to be updated. I'm going to be starting on uh, Musket and Pike, Battle of Edge Hill. You guys can look forward to that as well. That's coming pretty soon. I'm already digging that out, getting ready to set it up here on the table. So yeah, stay tuned for that too. Folks, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time on the Dash of Alon. You guys take care.